All right, y'all. So, welcome to market recap after CPI news data. So, we'll start off with the S&P. Okay, we had a bunch of shit marked out. We had this as buy side liquidity. Boom, all the way up here. We had these highs up here and then, you know, uh, pre-market highs right here. And then we had CPI news data come out at 8.30. It dumped pre-market and then we opened back up. If we go into the 15 minute time frame, we can see, okay, this was glitching. Okay, we pushed up, filled in this fair value gap. Okay, sent it down. That was during pre-market. Market opens, we get a push up into what I'm assuming is yep like a five minute order block right here or i'm sure there's even shit on the one minute off this ah uh, not so much but we do push into lower time frame confluences and then get that one minute break of structure right upon market open but if i'm being completely honest there's no chance i would have caught this like dead serious no chance i'm even that's why I don't trade on CPI news data because this is just, you know, this isn't price action that you would even want to be taking trades in or like risking money on, you know, that just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, anyways, price ended, ended up dumping down, um, didn't go up towards this uh, buy side liquidity. We ended up just pushing down super heavily on the four hour time frame, sweeping out four hour lows and then popping our heads back up. Um, and we are still not bullish yet on the hourly. So we have some time until tomorrow, but that's PPI news data. Again, I'm not trading because of all that shit coming out. And we already had CPI odds are PPI is going to mess up the market even more. So we saw how price action was today. We'll try and avoid it. Now moving on to NASDAQ, NASDAQ smoking on that gas pack. Um, similar situation. We have hourly highs right here that we marked out that actually got swept out pre-market. And then when CPI came out, boom, we sweep, dump down. Okay. Then similar si situation as the S and P 500, we push back up, boom, into this order block from the PPI news data. Okay, liquidity sweep, break of structure, fair value gap getting filled, scale down into a lower time frame, find a break of structure, bling blow, you're hitting take, take profits. Um, but again, would I want to trade today? Definitely not. I'm glad we avoided it. Anyways, we saw that price ended up pushing down, same thing as the S&P, sweeping out, four hour low, four hour low, four hour low, filling in part of this imbalance as well with this super long wick. And now on the hourly, same situation as the S&P. The indexes are looking pretty much identical right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I see after market close. Um, the Bitcoin ETF, oh, we already said that, but the Bitcoin ETF got approved a uh, like two days ago. So that is super exciting. Stay on 10 toes on crypto. Um, there's definitely bags to be made. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, lost money today trading CPI. Don't try and trade tomorrow. It's going to be worse for you. If you made money today trading CPI, take your profits to the bank and don't trade tomorrow because you'll probably give all of them away. All right. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.